Real Life Street Star. Man, man, got Brandy in the motherfucking building. God damn it, man. Coming off our last one, man. We ain't we ain't really chopping up with you in a minute. And uh, a it lot of a, yeah, hey, a lot of people show love to the last interview for you even coming out and sitting on this couch and talking. So even having you back is a blessing first and foremost. Thank you. Um, before we get into it, man, for those that are deaf, dumb, stupid, for living under a goddamn rock, man, tell them who you are, man. How do people know you? Well, I'm just enjoy life now. <laughs> <laughs> Talk that shit. Talk that shit. I'm Royalty's baby mama. Um, I'm the girl in the skit. Yeah, that voice very familiar. What'd you say? I said that voice very familiar. It should be to most yeah, people. Yeah, the Southern Belle. <laughs> man, um... First and foremost, let's just do a check on you, man. How are you doing? Um, you know, what what are we now? We're, we're are we three years in? It's three years. Three years in since the passing October of Royalty, October the slaying 13th of Royalty. Be three years. Um, how are you doing? How have you been since our last sit down? How's your mental? How is your when physical? When I tell you, I'm doing a lot better. Like, I was mentally like messed up seriously yeah. i thought i was better than what i actually was yeah i feel a lot better i mean i still miss him every day no doubt about that at all yeah but like just thinking back how i was looking at life and what are the things that i was doing and how it was affecting my kids and my growth yeah it, you're much better Leaps and much, bounds. Much, much better. That's good to hear. And uh, speaking of the kids, man, how are the kids doing? Um, I know the realization sometimes doesn't hit early on, like within like that first year. But after, you know, a couple of years, you know, three years in, I know they, you know, they probably you know, don't see their dad as much and kind of. The kids are, are good. You know, when he pays, they were babies, like. Right. All three of them were still in Pampers. Okay, okay. So they doing good. Um, Rolly the third looked just like his daddy. Man. Joy act just like her daddy. Royalty, he so he chill. So, so you think one of them gonna have the comedy book? His daughter probably. Joy. Probably his daughter. Mm -hmm. Man, hey, if you see it, man, nurture that into something, man. Nurture that into something. <laughs> Man, so we definitely want to bring you through, man. We got to def definitely talk about uh, the coming up documentary um, of Roy Lee. Uh, we definitely want to start with that because, you know, we even real life, you know, as far as, you know, helping film the documentary, trying to get it together with Vincent, man, LV, LV the Grinder. Man, uh, shout out to yeah, LV. Shout out to LV first and foremost, man, because he's the person who... Put it together despite like despite it despite man, so many roadblocks yeah it. so many roadblocks man COVID like yeah, man. he all the friends and yeah he LV I is mean, one of a kind from what I know man he 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 was running through financing it himself Thanks. uh going out to grab the people himself so most everyone you see on there that's him making those phone calls absolutely that's just him trying to get people to come and speak on his name um uh have you personally seen the the finished documentary? I seen a little bit of it. It's gonna be a movie, y'all. Man, talk that shit. I promise, like, you got, you know, y'all played a big part in it, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, thank you, man. Y'all brought my baby daddy back to life. Yeah, no, Like, man. the movie, it's, it, it tells a lot. Cause you know, when you watch his videos, if you really don't know him, or you just heard of him because the way he passed, you would think he was like this drama mm. type and he wasn't like you knew Roy. Yeah. yeah. He was cool, funny, laid back. So y'all brought him back to life, man. And I appreciate that. Who who are you excited to have seen on the documentary as far as just, you know, even whether you've seen it or not, um, as far as a name that's on it, that you're like, man, I'm glad that person was able to speak. Everybody. On oh, there you go. Everybody, because I'm, let me just put it like this. When I met Roy, before he even went viral, this is what he wanted. He was talking about a documentary when I met him, and I was, nigga, who is you? <laughs> he seen something I didn't see. 
Well, he used to say, I'm the shit in my own toilet. I'm shit in my own toilet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, so everybody, whoever, like, if somebody was passing by, was like, enjoy life. Or, yeah, man, or whoever on the documentary, whoever put in time, like, I appreciate it. I promise. Now, I remember interviewing you for the documentary, and um, there was a, you know, a part where, you know, you got real emotional speaking on them. You know, as far as in the documentary, do you still and sometimes get emotional like that? Uh, you know, when someone asks you certain questions or, you know, just speaking on them and something comes back and hits you like that? Certain questions I don't even get too into, like, cause it's like it's like people want me to feed into the drama, mm. and the drama took me to a dark place. And first of all, that's not where he was at, even though it looked like it. So mm -hmm. certain certain questions, I don't even really, who killed, do you? Now, now one question is, um, and I'm curious as to what's the status now. On the documentary, and it's in the trailer, so if you see it, you mm -hmm. were actually, you still had the vehicle that he got shot in. Mm -hmm. uh, you were still driving it. I was still driving. Later, mm -hmm. are you still driving it now? No. What What's the status of that vehicle? Like, where is it at? <laughs> I actually don't know. I gave I gave that vehicle back. Vehicle. I gave that car back, um, and I bought a, a cash car. Um, it was it was really good that I gave it back. No, it definitely, definitely. For like this whole royalty thing, it's a lot I had to let go. Yeah. Me holding on to what happened, what could have happened, what I should have did, what I didn't do, what he should have done, what he didn't do. It really fucked me up mentally. Man, I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure. So, I'm man, when I tell you my kids and myself, we're in a good space right now. There you and go. I love it. Like... You know, I, I don't say it a thousand times. He's not the first one of my kids' dad to have passed due to gun violence. Right. So I, I was thinking it done happened before. Like I, I already know how to handle it. I got it. I got it, and I didn't. Definitely. Well, tell them. Um, so for those that don't know, as far as when is uh, the um, the documentary the documentary coming out, or more so, um, I believe they're doing a, a release. Um, as far as uh, showing, yo, we're gonna be at the Texas Theater, yeah, October 11th, eight o'clock. Um, y'all can go on Grind Entertainment, I believe, or um, we'll put it, it we'll put it in the uh, we'll put it in the oh, please do, yeah, we'll please do, like, get the tickets, it's not too much, it's not on support. That's all I'm asking, just a little support. Are you excited for that? Uh, for the whole red I'm carpet nervous. treatment, the, you got your dress ready. You got your you get no, your clothes ready. No, I don't have anything. She, 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 I, <laughs> I don't have <laughs> anything ready. Like I'm so nervous. Like it, it was so many obstacles we had to go through just to get this done. COVID put us all the way back, and it made us look bad. Like we wasn't. You know, COVID put us. Back. Other little things put us back. Man, I'm just glad it's finally done. His story is told. Definitely. The good, the bad, the ugly, all of it. And that's real. That's the that's one thing about documentaries, you know, as far as a lot of setbacks come out. But once it's out, the, it's for the world now. His legacy has been yeah. told. Now you can regurgitate it. You can watch it. You can laugh. You can cry. You can smile. And, you know, now enjoy I life. I really can let it go. It's done. There like it's finally done. Now, I have to ask you: Do you feel this documentary will would reopen old wounds, not for you, but for the city? Because you know, out of sight, out of mind sometimes. But Roy Lee is the kind of the epicenter of a lot of things that has happened in the city going forward. I just pray it don't it don't bring anything negative out. Yeah. But I want him to be back back the topic. I was scared that he was going to be forgotten. When you pass on, people move on. Time don't stop for me, you, or the next person. Yeah. So when you pass, like, I have to move on. Yeah. As much as I love you, I can love you to the death of me, but I have to move on. Definitely. 
So I want to scream your name, Joker, nah, to hey, the mountains. Thank you, man. Thank you. Nah, but you know, I can't, you know. It, it, it's crazy because, you know, it, it, it affected us in such a way. It was like, damn, he was going to be great. So it was like. Yeah. It only makes it only makes sense for us to be part of that, you know what I'm saying, as far as telling that story. Absolutely. I appreciate y'all one more time. I no, got much see. love, much love. Now I have to ask you, um, we haven't talked to you, I don't believe, since Mo Three passed. Okay. Um, from what the world knows, Mo Three, you know, rolled for Roy Lee. He did. Um and I have to ask you, because we asked Rainwater before, um, you you were kind of there for a lot of it. Can you touch on what their relationship was? How was their relationship? I know it probably came through maybe Rainwater and then they became, they, be, they had their own I'm bond after that. I'm gonna tell this part. Roy Lee adored Mo3. He was crazy about it. When Roy Lee first got shot, Mo, Rain, and a couple of more dudes, they came to the hospital. Despite of how I felt, and that's the pace, Mo3 and Roy was like this. Did he love his music or he loved him as a, you know, his character? Which one he do you loved think? both. <laughs> both. Like, Roy Lee, he was always for the underdog. The underdog. So, when all that, that shit jumped off, you know how it went. Hey, we can go, go through this all day. <laughs> yeah, and I'm just curious. No, and... You know, everyone knows when and where they were when certain things happened. Uh, when you heard about the the passing of Mo Three, uh, where were you at? What you know? What went through your head? You know, what was going on with you at the time of you hearing that news? It was November 11th, wasn't it? Yes. Yes. I was at the Denny's with Roy Lee the Third, and the first thing I thought about was his baby. I didn't have none of my other keys. I had Roy Lee the Third. I had big Roy Lee son. Yeah. And I was strolling through Facebook and I at first I thought somebody was lying. Yeah, like But yeah. after I kept seeing it, and then they shared the video, yo yeah, man, you don't do like yeah. I mean for, for the violence of, of it all the I don't think you see that kind of violence I mean, prior to this. And like you said, you lost another baby that was in gun violence. Like, what is your thoughts on just, you know, Dallas is just looking like a war zone at times like this where anyone is acceptable to this kind of crime and this of this nature? I really feel like it has made it worse than ever. Like, my first baby daddy was a boxer, Golden Glove. That's Man. what got him killed. Man, I just seen a video today. <laughs> Nigga trying to step up and just box them down and then yeah and then i mean everybody want to be the big guy everybody want to be the bully everybody want to look better on do that like you ain't got a kill like you just... nah, I mean, texas is uh now wide open with the gun violence you know they let people open carry you know don't like need is the this chicago yeah we don't I live in the country or nothing i'm like, like it this... does get a little wild this is it, it ain't even cute like seriously like it's females out here shooting too no for real for real that's big facts that's big facts now with that being said um have you um outside of this this documentary with, with Roy, just is anything else going on just with um with his business with uh just you know in, are y'all doing anything i know uh his sister was doing a his the, sister the, the, she's still selling the shirt okay my goal is to raise his kids at the best of my ability. Okay. I work every day. I pay my bills. And my goal is to take her of home. There you go. And when he first passed, I was everywhere. I forgot to take her of home. Like, I need to take her of my babies. Those was his babies. They are my babies. All that other shit is... It'll be there. Yeah. But then I need to make sure that they're okay. Like, I need to make sure my twins know that they are, right. you know, so that's, that's my focus right now. Now, you know, I do want to ask you, man. <laughs> As we were doing the documentary, you know, there was a lot of, uh, 
a lot of females that came through saying that they was really friend, and you know, I'm like, damn. I'm like, we all know how he was. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, what kind of was he? Surprised. Was he just like a ladies' man like that? Like he he just, was like, yo, I man, say, I've been with my with my girl for a while, man. Like, <laughs> and I'm like. Roy, did he have a part like? <laughs> <laughs> do, did it do make you think back to some nice one? <laughs> no. I be trying to tell. Her, babe, like, I got a comedy show. I gotta go. <laughs> yo, he would love you. He'll be he'll he'll be like he was. <laughs> <laughs> Just so I would leave him the fuck alone. You know what nah, I'm for saying? Real, for real. I, I will say he was he was a fly young man. <laughs> he, he was, was a, he was a cool. He was a fly and, young man. And all the arguing and fighting, I promise that's because I couldn't accept how cool he was. Like man, I can't have all this to myself because, like, were you selfish at times? Like, you got to stay home. I don't want you going nowhere. You got to. Oh, I was mad. <laughs> I was mad. Boy, I had three babies in one year. Nah, nah that's nigga. What? <laughs> yeah, that's kind of crazy. <laughs> that's kind of crazy. Yeah, how that happened? Yeah, that's kind of crazy. <laughs> he kept me barefoot, pregnant, and in the kitchen. Hey, I man. had three babies in one year. Hey, like, man. yo, how that happened? Hey. It's, <laughs> it's cool. He got me. You know. Hey. Nah, that's, <laughs> that's real. That's real. Even thinking back now, you know, with has as much time has passed. I remember we asked, we asked you last time what your favorite was. Now, what is your favorite? Still the Bay Car. Still, yeah. Like <laughs> I watched the um part of the documentary, and they had the Bay Car owner. Oh, I died. You gotta like, put that on there, man. That's it's a, still the Bay Car where the, the 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 dude come. Like I'm not even in it. Yeah. Like the dude come. Like the siren go off. He get in the car. Like it's an Uber. With yeah. The, Nah, something like that, and the siren go off, and the dude come like he about to like it's funny, like so funny, man. R.I.P. to him. Yeah, I miss real. that dude, man. Man, his, his energy, real. his energy can't be matched. Um, uh, what, what are your thoughts on other comedians that, um, not only in Dallas but in other cities that kind of not saying duplicated style, but you see like similarities in what he was doing. And they took that and you know running with it now. What are your I thoughts on that? I used to get that? mad, but now I'm like, he somebody got to start a trend. Like if it wasn't Roy, it'll be it would have been somebody else. Right. You know, like I look at. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna lie to you. Because even with Mo three bringing Desi Banks into apartments, I always feel like Desi Banks, even though he was doing his own thing, I saw a lot of Roy in what Desi Banks. I see a lot of Roy in Seeing how far Desi Banks has. Well, he would have been, been right hurt. there, just comedy shows with you know, and just headlining in movies. And he would have been there. I'm like, damn. He would have been there. They talked. He talked about. I did. He did a movie with uh, said, or he was gonna do a movie with. No, Rolly passed on the Saturday. He's supposed to have went to the doctor on a Monday. Then he he's supposed to went to Cleveland, Ohio, to do the movie with Cedric the Entertainer. The turn. Yeah. Cedric the Entertainer and Pops and some more people. Man. Damn. Ordering shoes and like I was ready. Like oh, man. I can go and I'm not pregnant. So, <laughs> so about that time. So I gotta ask you, man. In dating life now, or if you you know, in when you plan a date or however your dating life is. Do you look for a nigga to be funny still? Or do you be like, man, I need a serious nigga now because well, I can't really deal with it. I have a girlfriend. Oh. I, I brought Skip that part. I did not hit. Okay, well, shout out to girlfriend. Yeah, I have a shout girlfriend. Shout out to girlfriend. And when he first passed, it was a lot of dudes trying to, but I got Wait, to was, notice was, was him. It was dudes, a lot of dudes trying to follow on Rolly. Oh. Hey, yeah, they y'all only trying to follow his baby mama. You, they trying to fuck with me because I'm his baby mama. Either they hate him or they a fan. Man. It was never in between. It That's was never wild. in between. That's kind of wild. So with that being said, you look for humor, your girlfriend, or y'all keep it like real. I'm the funny person. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's me and Joy, his daughter. Like, we the funny people. Like... 
Nah, it's real. Now mm-hmm. I remember you were trying to. You know, you were trying to do it. I'm too lazy. <laughs> you remember we tried to do the yeah, podcast? Yeah, we tried to do the podcast. We, we, we ran through a couple of shows like, trying to figure uh, something out. I was like, uh, so. Yeah, man, me and you, me and you were talking about trying to do a certain, a couple of different things we, to pop I it off. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do man, it. Man, I hear That's you. That's why I always say that was his dream. Yeah. Like, it wasn't, it wasn't for me. I hear you. I was just blessed enough to ride. I hear you. I hear you. I was just blessed enough to be there. It wasn't. It wasn't for me, man. Like as much as I tried to hate on it and be with it, up and down with it, like it, it was for him. There you go. There it was go. for him. It wasn't for me, man. Man. So with that being said, uh, man, this documentary about to drop. Um, uh, what October thirteenth, yeah. we're done. Oh, man, it's let's gonna go. be great. Baby be great. owner, saving a great owner. Um. About seventh grade, like he was just upset with him or something, or <laughs> but I will say he loved them, they grew up together. Exactly. Like they grew up together. I'ma say this just only because I made that face. So I don't want, you know, inquire in my mind. What it only felt like he wanted the same type of um what am i trying to say like he wanted the same like i'm coming to your shows why yeah, you can't support he, the support yeah, like he wanted the same type of support that's out like you know and he ain't here to and i don't want to make a scene like, i don't want no drum i don't that ain't that ain't what i'm here for yeah, but i made that fucked up face so i had to say fuck seven's on a documentary going taking us through his childhood too uh-huh. so I, you know you know he, it's all he there. loved him he loved him so you know i my best friend here i can tell you right now she irritates the fuck out of me and i feel like shit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, I mean, hey. No, so uh, again, uh, what do you expect fans to get out of this documentary? Before, before, like, what do you expect as far as fans to get out of this? A good lay, and I want them to know who he was. Okay. You know, Dallas know, and one thing about Dallas, it's, it's like a popularity thing. Like, so I need people to to come in. I need. Yeah. Joke, I need you to support. Like, oh, yeah, no, nah, we coming through. You know, man. you we popular. Coming, yeah, like, we coming you know, through that thing, Jeff, man. Jeff, I need you to come through. We shaking through, hands so. and kissing babies. You know, <laughs> it's all. I mean, you know, when you leave that train. Yeah, you, you want us to look like we, you know, come looking like y'all shot that bitch. Shoot in the book. Yeah, come looking like y'all. Real. I'm going to have, uh, I'm going to be. That's what I need. Right. That's what I need. I'm going to come right inspired there. by, this outfit was inspired by Roy Lee. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yes. we coming with that shit. But we going to sell out. Nah, for real. It's going to be a look. That's what Dallas all about, you know. Oh, so, yeah. if he was there, he'll be running his own shit. I guarantee you. Remember that nigga used to ride in that Lincoln with tickets and shit? Nah, for real. I remember, hey, listen. Well, he was to, his own best hey, promoter. Come to the players' bar. Hey, listen. Yes. <laughs> for real. I remember all that. Own, it, and I told him when he was alive, after he got shot, I was like, I don't want to lose you to this shit. Not for real. People will forget you. Get the day, uh, give us the day one more time. I so that's what they going to know. Pull up. Get them tickets, man. Come support us. Man, you know, thank you so much. And we hopefully, right after this documentary, we can close this chapter and you can begin what is going to be your new, you know, your new reality and all those things. Yeah. We love you. We support everything you do. Brandy, you for show sure our real life street star. Man, I so sure appreciate y'all, man. For real. Oh, and, oh, and do you have some uh, tickets right now on you? <laughs> Nah, we're gonna buy Let some. Let me drink today. Yeah. <laughs> hey, and, and for those and for those that wanna uh follow you, uh, you know, see who your girlfriend is, they do all that shit. Uh, my y'all motherfucking business. <laughs> my y'all business. I specific look, I specifically didn't ask you that so you can have your own business. I I I, I watch you. I see y'all y'all see y'all little girlfriend. <laughs> 
Enjoy life. I need everybody to enjoy life. Smile every day. Thank God I know the meaning of it now. Thank God I know the meaning of it. Thank God I, I had him in my life. I got his kids. They finally out of pimples. Y'all remember mm. all them interviews? Mm. I was like, they out of pimples. Mm. They out. They out of pimples. I don't need y'all for shit. Don't cash out me nothing. Mm. They good. Three in you one hear year. Me? Well, Brandy, you are a real life street star, man. We salute. We salute. That's right. <laughs>